First, the African nation of Cameroon is in national mourning following the sudden death of one of its most celebrated and popular players. Mark Vivian Foe collapsed and died for no apparent reason during this morning's Confederations Cup semi-final against Colombia. The tragedy has stunned the football world. Foe met his death in the game that brought him fame and honor. And a warning, some viewers may find scenes in this report distressing. Cameroon's Confederation Cup match was 15 minutes from the end when tragedy struck. Alone on the Stade Jolande pitch, Foe suddenly fell to the ground. He was in obvious difficulty and never recovered. He was carried from the field on a stretcher and treated by medical staff for almost an hour in an attempt to resuscitate his heart. But when news of Foe's death was officially announced minutes after the match, players from both sides wept in disbelief. FIFA president Sepp Blatter led the tributes for a player who had earned high respect for maintaining African football's high profile. Foe played a leading role in Cameroon's 1-0 win over Colombia, and although he was involved in this challenge, there were no signs of any health disorders during the game. Tears also flowed in Paris before the start of the other semi-final. Players from Turkey and France observed a minute's silence for a player and friend most knew from their days in the French League. The tributes continued on the pitch. Striker Thierry Henry pointed to the heavens after scoring the opening goal. It was a mark of respect for their fallen colleague. Outside the stadium, what should have been a time of celebration for Cameroon supporters dissolved into utter shock. Marc Vivian Foer was 28 years of age, taken at the prime of his career. Marc Vivian Foyer was part of a golden generation of players from Cameroon, which included the likes of Rigobert Song, Jeremy, Samuel Eto, and Eric Jemba Jemba. Among the high points of his career were winning two league championships in France and playing in two World Cups. Simon Hill now takes a look back at the playing career of one of the West African nation's favourite sons. Born in Ancolo in 1975, Marc Vivian Foe began his career with Canon Yawunde before moving to Lens, where he played under the current Liverpool boss Gerard Houllier, helping the Northern French outfit to their first championnat success in 1998. By then, he was already an established international, having played alongside the likes of Roger Miller and Thomas Kono as a 19-year-old in the 1994 World Cup. Later that year, he signed for West Ham United. An earlier move to Manchester United had been called off after he broke a leg ahead of that year's World Cup finals in France. But he lasted just a season at Upton Park before returning to France in a swap deal involving Freddy Canute. With Lyon, he was a key member of the side that won the French title in 2001-2002 and took the club into the Champions League for the first time ever. And after winning the African Cup of Nations in Mali, and competing in his second World Cup in Japan and Korea, he moved back to England on a season-long loan with Manchester City. Foe made 35 appearances for Kevin Keegan's side, scoring an impressive nine goals, including the last ever at City's old main road ground, and wanted to make his move to Manchester permanent. However, City and Lyon were in disagreement over the transfer fee. And although plenty of clubs were interested in signing him, notably Middlesbrough, the player went into the Confederations Cup campaign in limbo, only for his career and his life to be cut tragically short. Foe, who leaves a wife and three children, died playing the game he loved for the country he loved. He'll be remembered fondly by football fans all over the world.